Hey there, this is week 21, and these are my words. I have been thinking a lot about walking and the stress relief that walking can give you. And it was really fascinating because I posted something this week where I discovered that Michael Moore, the filmmaker, who you can love or you can hate, but you have to respect that he does take big risks, has been doing this thing called Walk With Mike where he does a 30 minute walk every day for like the last two years. And I just discovered that. Somebody um, sent it along to me and I was very, very excited to see about that because in a way, he's kind of doing his own 365 project except now that he's done it for two years. It's a little more than 365. But the whole point is just to get in touch with yourself and take yourself out on a walk and the great benefits that you can get from getting yourself out and about and actually going for a walk. And I thought that was really cool. And I shared that with a friend of mine and she had a really amazing insight and I actually printed out what she sent me because I want to share it with you in bits and it really illuminated things for me in a way that had never made sense. I've always had a really hard time going to the gym and working out. I get fatigued really easily if I do any hard cardio. I have to do things like yoga or go for a walk in order to get exercise because if I run, I feel like death and then I have to go take a long nap and I can't get out of bed and I just don't feel good. And her note made everything make so much sense. And what she said is that when you do cardio, it can increase your levels of cortisol. Now cortisol is the stress hormone in your body, um, which is partly responsible for you feeling like you're going into fight or flight. Um, it engages your sympathetic nervous system. But when you go for a walk, it engages your parasympathetic nervous system by actually burning off levels of cortisol. Um, it, it burns it, I'm gonna check her notes, it burns it at a slow and steady rate, which is what engages the parasympathetic nervous system. And it is responsible for slowing down that stress release and or that stress response and actually giving you a release from having the cortisol levels in your system and she said that people that are under uh, high stress naturally or are naturally depressive or their chemical their chemistry their natural body chemistry is off a little bit have these peaking cortisol levels which is why if they do engage in really high levels of exercise they have a hard time processing it it can make them not feel good so I wanted to share that with you but what do you do with high levels of stress do you go for a walk do you feel better when you work out at the gym what have you noticed can physically make you feel better because I'm definitely a walking girl thanks so much for joining me I'm gonna put the link for the Michael Moore thing if you want to check it out and I will talk to you guys in about a week thank you so much for joining me on this journey and I hope you're doing well bye